Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Power Expertise. So today we are going to see how we can fetch the current logged in user detail on portal pages. So let's get started. How we can fetch the email ID of a logged in user management. So this is my Power Pages. In this page, what I will do, I will create one page and I will give the name as current logged in user. Okay, and I will start from blank. I click on add. Then I will add one form which I've already created. So this is my account main form which I've created on account table. If you want to learn like how we can create a main form on any of the table, then you can watch my previous video. Okay, so this I have already created. I will click on that and then click on OK. So in this form, I have two fields, account name and email address. So what is uh, like uh, once I preview this, okay, so I click on preview. So as you can see, this uh, account name I need to give on my form and this email address I want like it will get auto populated once this page get loaded since I have logged in so this is my name like Sarah J and the email address should come like what will be like whatever my email address is it should be auto populated okay so that is my requirement so how we will achieve that we will go to our current page, we we'll click on these three dots and open edit code. It will open Visual Studio code for us. Okay, it is getting, you know, getting the extension and now it is open. So this is my HTML. And in this, I hope uh, the form which I have, you know, configured on my page, account main form, it is coming in an HTML like this is this is the page it is showing here. Okay. Now what is my requirement here is I need to write a code so that it will give me the current logged in user email ID and it should be auto populate. So I will write a code. Okay. So if user, okay. I'll assign the value in string email and this is the user object which we, we will get from contact table and this is the email address internal name of the uh, email address column from the user object. So that you need to provide here under curly braces and then this ID code now we have to write in JS and here in this document ready function what function we will call this is the email ID okay and we will get the uh, email address by get element by ID the value of that we will store in email ID and how we are like uh, assigning it here in the value part I will make it as a hidden. I will show you why I made it as a hidden type. Okay. And in here, I will assign the uh, this value what we have uh, retrieved from the uh, HTML into our this uh, internal column. Like, uh, I'll show you what is the internal logical name of my column email address in which I finally store the value of the logged in user. So here is the ID. So you need to copy this email uh, logical name. And from one more place, you can get that. Uh, if you don't want it from the inspect of the page, I will say like go to account table, go to the columns. And here just search for email. The name of the column, which uh, the internal name you want. So in the tools, just copy the logical name, okay? 
So this is the same logical name which you get from the inspect element on the page and it's ID, you just want it and we'll store it into this. Like this is the name uh, from where I got that. I've just explained to you. So now we are ready with our code. We just save it. Both HTML and JavaScript we will store. We will come back here. We will sync our changes. One thing I just comment out here. What did I will explain you? This code piece of code. I'll sync it again because I just made uh just now I made a change. Okay. Now I will refresh this page. So here you can see this email ID is auto populated and now you can do the like if your requirement is like that you are creating a form in which there is a section where you need to have an auto populated value like the title of the user uh the name of the user the job title the department or the email id so with this logic you can achieve this like we have a user object simply we need to call it out uh, because uh, account, contact, and user, this, uh, these three tables are linked, like uh, has a relationship. So you can, you know, leverage that and you can achieve the functionality like getting the title, job title, account name, username, the complete name, full name, or email address. And this way, uh, you just have to write the JS code and you have to assign that uh, into a variable so I'm just reading the element get element by ID and just storing that email ID which I have fetched uh, into my column okay form column now the other role can be like once the fields are auto populated it should not be uh, like editable it should only come in a read only mode so if currently you can see I can you know a user can make changes by mistake he can you know uh, uh is something or add some other uh value uh so which is which we don't want user to do that so if we want to make that auto populated value as a read only and no further changes a user can do from their end so just what we have to do in dollar the name of the logical name of the column dot attr and just set it to read only i'll save it I'll sync the changes and now I'll refresh it. So as you can see now, I cannot edit it. I'm not able to write anything. Okay. So in today's video, this is the purpose, like how you can get the value, uh, logged in user value. And let's say you are not getting, like uh, you're getting here a blank value, uh, even after writing the same piece of code, what I have written in JS and HTML. So what you can verify here is you come to contacts in the portal management, come to contacts, go to the name, like currently I have logged in as Sarah J. So I will go to that contact name and just verify the email ID is, is there. Because for uh, like you can see last name is mandatory here. Other things are not mandatory. So just come here and see the contact profile is completed. You have filled email address and other detail like account name, job title. All these information are filled. Then only when you fetch it, it will show you the result. Uh, actually, what happened when I was trying to, you know, uh, try this same piece of code, I was getting a null value. Then I came here and see like uh, what I'm missing here. So I just saw that email ID was blank in the profile. So make sure uh, if if you are, you know, trying to get any of the value, like title, job title, anything, it should be there in your contact profile. Otherwise, you, it, you won't be able to see it uh, on front end. So I hope you like this video. In my coming session, I will cover other things on Power Pages. So stay tuned with me. Like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.